welcome to space gaming 020 this is my first video so if there is any mistake please cooperate okay so let's get started now we'll launch a command pod mac 1 into orbit using a simple rocket a very simple rocket which is easy to fly and it's also cheap so that it can be used in career mode too so our rocket will be called well easy launch one seems to be a good name that's it so in utility we'll get our parachute parachute yes This version of the game SS doesn't have heat shields. In case you are using a higher version, please put a heat shield here underneath the capsule so that it will be useful during re-entry. And since Kerbal Space Program is quite realistic, we need to place at least one solar panel for our capsule so that it doesn't run out of power. Well, let's give the staging for the capsule. Now we shall make our second stage of the rocket. Second will be a liquid with this liquid fuel engine. liquid motor can be restarted unlike solid motor so it's much better but at the same time as you will see it's costly stage separation mechanism for stage 2 and 1 goes here and our first stage will be this giant solid rocket booster here it goes well pull it up pull it up pull it up yeah pull it yeah that's that's it Let's see the center of mass position around here and center of lift. As of now, it's showing at ground because there are no aerodynamic surfaces, so we need to add it. Use the swing lift for at the base to keep our CP. as back as possible so now let's launch it as you can see this design is quite similar to the ares 1 crew vehicle of nasa though it never actually ferried any crew on board the ares 1 was actually a nice concept if you see the cost of sending it but though there are some differences between this design and Ares 1 design which i will cover in a later video okay so we have our rocket waiting to launch on the launch pad Let's see it in the map view. Use M key for that. Bring up the nav ball in the map view. We will need it later. So here's our easy launch, ready to launch from Kerbal Space Center. 
switching back to this view oh that's quite lag switch on the SS using T key give full thrust using Z and fire using space bar let's zoom out a bit zoom out zoom out a bit yeah there it was lifting of vertical is a waste of energy assets so basically we should tilt as quickly as possible so I'm starting the tilt to around 5 degrees on the nav ball here itself just after leaving the launch pad okay at the same time our atmosphere is creating drag so we have to get out of the atmosphere as quickly as possible so these two conflicting requirements give that around 5 to 10 degrees angle during this early phase of flight as we shall proceed upwards when we are nearing the end of the densest part of the atmosphere we shall lean to 45 degrees angle of attack uh, not the angle of attack sorry 45 degrees pitch on the nav ball which is around here and then later as we reach to this part we shall move on to around 60 degrees pitch Jebediah Karman looks very happy just looking around as to what's happening to him let's see it in the map view okay apoaps is increasing performance nominal that's NASA's term for normal see the mass decreasing Sorry. it's going well and fine yeah Okay, that was awesome. So much sound. Let's begin to slightly tilt it towards forty five degrees pitch. continuously but slowly towards 45 degrees as we are getting out of the densest part of the atmosphere So now full on pitch to 45 degrees, pitch to 45.
and the aerocardio surfaces are not responding much because we are quite out of the atmosphere. Okay. Anyway, it's anyway close to forty five. Solid fuel is almost over. Almost over. We need to see some heating. As a solid rocket booster will cut off, just see how suddenly the G forces will reduce. So we have the first stage bar now. Stage separation. Successful. Second stage ignition. Switch to map view. Let the apoapsis come to around 75 km. Better 80 km. That's it. Shut down using X. Okay. Mass is now 3.86 ton only. We shall execute one burn when we are near the apoapsis. So let's add maneuver and Position our burn. Uh oh, looks like it's quite a lot. Pull it back, pull it back. Yeah, 77, 69, slightly. No, 77, 67. Seventy eight, seventy one. Yeah, slightly out of seventy means it's well in a good orbit. Seventy eight, seventy four. Yeah, well with outside the atmosphere. Let's turn it and keep it in that position. Estimated burn is 30 seconds, so we'll burn it 15 seconds before zero and 15 seconds after zero. Okay. 
so the burn will start at t minus 15 seconds well once we are almost outside the atmosphere time warping won't affect the structural stability of ship so structural integrity of the ship so it's okay slightly time warp okay we are above 70 kilometers that change in music and at t minus 15 we'll start the burn it's better to do the burn in map view only so that we can know what the orbit is actually happening and now we are outside the atmosphere so exact orientation doesn't matter much so, oh while speaking up while speaking i missed the burn ha. well that's okay just take care that apoapsis is slightly ahead of the capsule everything will go fine oh it's going back just tilt 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 it tilt it like this yeah let the apoapsis always remain ahead of the capsule slightly ahead of the capsule okay just see see that it remains just slight just slightly just slightly ahead. yeah ah here we have shut down 75 83 well it has been established in a stable orbit now and Jebediah will be very happy really very very happy there's some and here we are by the earth so that's all for today I'll upload a video one week later on how to land using the same capsule at Kerbal Space Center okay so till then be happy have a good day thank you